Ciao, my name is Maurizio and welcome to another reference check video for Drag Race Italia. Today we're going to talk about the second episode of the first season, Divas. It was a long episode with so many references, so we have so much to talk about. However, before getting started, I would like to thank you all for watching the first video and for the lovely comments. I read them all and I'm really thankful for your feedback. Some of you pointed out that I had missed on some references from the first episode of Drag Race Italia, so we're gonna look into these first and then we're gonna talk about episode two. Let's start with some opera references. Ivana Vamp sang a few lines from two arias of two Italian operas, the first being Sempre Libera de Gio from the first act of La Traviata by the great Italian composer Giuseppe Verdi, the second is instead Agitata da Due Venti from the second act of Griselda by Antonio Vivaldi. There is a mistake in the subtitles here. Tommaso Zorzi actually says tirata, which means pulled or stretched, which makes more sense since he's referring to Patti Pravo. Patti Pravo is an Italian singer very popular during the 60s, 70s and 90s. Her provocative and excessive performances have made her into an icon of transgression in Italian society and culture. She's also known for being a fan of plastic surgery, undergoing several facelifting treatments to get rid of her wrinkles. For the past centuries, Turin has always been linked to esoteric cults, white magic and black magic. Torino is therefore known as La Città Magica, as it is said that many places in the city uh, brim with mysterious energy, such as Palazzo del Diavolo, Fontana delle Quattro Stagioni, and the Church of La Gran Madre di Dio. Here's something else that gets lost in translation. Electra makes a sort of liaison linking the sound Fia in Nonna Sofia and Fia della Mignotta, as she says, which in Roman dialect means daughter of a bitch or son of a bitch. Apart from being an insult in itself, the term has come to describe an astute and deceitful person. That's because the children of prostitutes usually lived in orphanages or similar institutes and as soon as they reached the age of 16, they were sent away from the institute with no money and usually they had to steal to survive. Okay, so now that we've talked about some missed references from episode one, let's get into episode two. <laughs> Expression to indicate a particular situation whose resolution is particularly difficult at the limit of possibility and with unfortunate consequences. As many of you know, gnocco is a type of pasta, gnocchi, but the word gnocco or gnocca is used in slang to describe a sexy and provocative person. It's mainly used in informal situations, especially among friends. The word uccello means bird, but is one of the many names for the male genital organ. So every time they mention the word uccello, they probably mean penis. Con la più cruenta delle gare da balera. La balera is a type of very popular dance hall typical of the suburbs of large cities, especially in Emilia-Romagna and in other regions of the north of Italy. The type of music and dance performed in it are usually couple dances, uh, so from tango to all types of so-called ballo liscio.
Perché se brilla è Asterlab. Ad una telepromozione. The importance of telemarketers in the birth and development of local television stations was enormous in Italy. The ability of some of these personalities was such as to attract audiences to the stations that hosted them and the advertising break often became the most watched part of the programs. Some excesses, which also ended up in judicial chronicles, have, however, provoked widespread prevention of the entire sector. One of the most popular telemarketer in Italy is Vanna Marchi. Thanks to her popularity in the 80s and 90s, she, uh, she is known as the queen of teleshopping. She was later convicted several times for serious wrongdoing related to her activity, and one of her many catchphrases is... I believe this sentence is from an Italian ad about a medicine or a pill, but I don't remember which one. So if you know, just comment below. Step your pussy up, everyone. Be yourself, bitch. Step your pussy up, honey. Get a job. La strada fra la dottoressa Tirone che schizza verso Vanna Marchi. Alma Manuela Tirone was an Italian doctor and dietitian specializing in metabolic diseases who later became a television phenomenon of the 70s, 80s and 90s. Her diets were so popular that she produced best-selling books that became generational cults. As you can see, her infomercials were long and articulated and many people would create parodies of them. Marcel Marceau was a French actor and mime artist, most famous for his stage persona, Bip the Clown. He referred to mime as the art of silence and he performed professionally worldwide for over 60 years. Mi percepisco stressata, stanca, stufa e piena, piena, piena. Basta di parlare di me, Giovanna, sono piena! Cosa? Cosa sono piena! La tua bocca ancora... Sti meno a verbi modali? There are many types of high school in Italy that you can attend. Ivana mentions lo scientifico and il classico. The former focuses on the teaching of scientific subjects, such as maths and physics, whereas in the latter the school curriculum is heavily based on Italian language and literature, classical literature, such as Latin and Greek, and generally speaking, humanistic subjects, such as history, philosophy and art history. Greca, Greca, Maria Callas. Maria Callas was an American soprano and actress of Greek origin, naturalized Italian and later Greek. She contributed to the rediscovery of the Italian repertoire of the first half of the 19th century and she restored the idea of bel canto, which involves not only the voice but also the phrasing, the acting, the posture, the makeup and even the hairdo. Gabriella Ferri. Esatto. Gabriella Ferri was an Italian pop music singer-songwriter known for her interpretations of Roman and Neapolitan folk songs as well as a theatre actress. Ok, escilo, escilo il tuo amore, facciamo più rumore. Ti porto a ballare, poi andiamo a rivalare. Moira Orfei, io amo follemente Moira Orfei. Moira Orfei was an Italian circus performer, actress and television personality, considered the queen of Italian circus. She had a very distinguished look, which mirrored her eccentric and exuberant personality, heavy makeup, eyeliner, bright lipstick, an accentuated mole above the lip, hair pulled back like a turban. Sofia Loren, also known as Sofia Costanza Brigida Villani Scicolone, is an Italian actress considered one of the greatest actresses in the history of cinema. She was directed in 1960 by Vittorio De Sica in Two Women, for which she won an Oscar, the first one given to an Italian actress for an Italian film. At the same time as many Italians left for North and South America, as well as other Western countries, there was also an internal migration from the poorer South to the richer North of the peninsula. 
and I think that's what Enorma is meaning here with a Cinderella story. Con eleganza. Dita Von Tees. Claro. Heather Renee Sweet, known professionally as Dita Von Tees, is an American vedette, burlesque dancer, model, fashion designer, businesswoman, and author. She is credited with repopularizing burlesque performances, earning the moniker Queen of Burlesque. Oh, come si dice dalle mie parti, un pacco. Guarda, uh, mi è capitato di trovarmi davanti a un pacco che era una fregatura, se questo vuoi sapere. <laughs> Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon or Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon is a Japanese anime and manga very popular in Italy back in the 90s. The series follows the adventures of the titular protagonist, whose civilian name is Usagi Tsukino, a middle school student who is given the power to become the pretty soldier and defend the earth. Lady Gaga, ma non una Lady Gaga da tappeto rosso. Britney, quante volte ti ho detto che devi farti la... Il suo tormento d'amore le nostre Patrizia Rossetti in drag. Per voi amiche, Telefo sì. E questo omaggio alla dolce vita che... Marcello, come here! Il kit Frida Kant. Libera la tua passione dando vita alla tua creatività. I think here Farida wants us to think that she's going to say the word passera, which means sparrow, but in slang it can also describe the female genitalia since Farida is selling the free da cunt kit. Figuraccia is a negative or wrong impression caused in someone by your behavior. The concept of figura is of primal importance in Italian society and culture. It is rooted in the idea that it is important to look good. And what I mean when I say to look good, it's not just relevant to your physical appearance, but also your behavior in society. It's the idea that looking good and respectable will lead you to leave a good impression and even impress others. Amica da casa, non cambiare canale. Eh, amica, dice che cosa ti va a proporre la tua amica Veronica? Un no. oggetto innovativo che non può mancare nelle tue case. Tutto per rendervi delle venere di Botticelli. Ah, però che cozza! La prima app di incontri che servirà ad abbassare. Hai un porro sul naso che prende pure Radio Maria. Radio Maria è un international Catholic radio broadcasting service. Italians joke all the time about the fact that if you get even the weakest radio signal, you'll probably be able to hear Radio Maria. Se il tuo corpo è pieno di punti neri, che se ti vedesse Margherita Hack ne vedrebbe una nuova costellazione. Margherita Hack was an Italian astrophysicist academic and activist who worked at several American and European observatories and was for a long time a member of the working groups of ESA and NASA. Tutto liberati, camurria. Le riche. Un merda 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 ave quattro che there's a mistranslation here. Merda, merda, merda is an expression used generally in theater to wish luck to the performers. Very similar to break a leg in English. One of the possible origins of this expression dates back to the 17th and 19th centuries when theater was one of the most popular forms of entertainment and people used to go there on carriages driven by horses. A large audience meant a higher number of carriages and therefore horses and more animal waste. Saying merda means wishing that the theater will fill up. La tua Britney Spears non ci ha fatto urlare, baby, one more time. Particularmente adatto a questa puntata.
Comprami. Comprami by me is a song by Viola Valentino, an Italian singer, actress and former model. The song caused a scandal and feminists contested the text, which talks about a woman who offers herself to a man particularly unlucky in love. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too long. Let me know what you thought of the episode. What did you think of the Queen's impersonations? Did you enjoy them? Did you not enjoy them? Let me know. Subscribe to the channel and share the videos with your friends so that you can all better appreciate Drag Race Italia. Thank you again to the Rory John for his shout out in his latest video about the finale of season 3 of Drag Race UK. Grazie mille di nuovo, thank you so much and I will see you next time. Ciao!